Yo. Hey, hey, folks. We might be drunk. We're here. We're queer. We're at the churning. <laughs> John and right. Dave churning. New movie. Yes, indeed. New On movie. Netflix. Intro, yeah. yeah. That was Netflix, nice. August 23rd. Whoa. Sell. Happy to be here. Sell. Well Thank done. You're having us. I know. We're selling. How the hell do you sell a movie? We wrote a movie. We don't know what we're doing. I we read your movie. It was what? Very funny. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah, high, so high, high praise to get a comedy script oh. away for once, dude. Yeah. Uh, we don't uh, personally have the money to make. <laughs> yeah, sure, well, can sure. help you, but we uh, of course. It. But it was funny. A lot of laughs. Yeah. Oh, thanks. thanks. Well, you know, we, we rewrite and rewrite, but yeah, that's the we're, process. We're pretty happy. It's joke heavy. <laughs> yeah. So uh, if you don't know the Turn and Road, probably at least three or four of your favorite Sunny episodes, maybe more. I mean, more. like let's, more. Yeah, let's say more. more. Dude, this, Probably the, some you, of your least favorites. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I seriously think the Jersey Shore app, that's fucking rum. Oh, that's, yeah. that's a classic. Yeah. Classic. Yeah. You've done so many that, I mean, what, what, off the top of my head, what, I wrote some of them down, so I don't want to do this, but what, what are some more you wrote? Uh, that's we did my favorite we wrote. We did that. We did Thunder Gun Express. That's a fucking classic. Mm. We did Saves the Day. We did uh, Timeshare. But it's a Damn, it's a group a process. I was just gonna we say, can't like, take too much credit. Yeah, kind of. You get the you all work on them together, and then slap how, your names on the ones. How that, big is that writers' room? Uh, we're actually going back. We've been gone for like eight years, and we're going back next week to do Whoa. the new season. So, nice. What, what uh, is it? We're excited, and 15? I think 17. 17. Oh. Seventeen. Yeah. Yeah. I Which, think there's. Six or seven writers this year, plus the three guys. It's a gotcha. fun room. Yeah, no very fun. Room. I like a smaller room. Yeah, in rooms it gets tricky. You don't let the lady write. Uh, we <laughs> we get one it. lady. Okay, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> very talented young. Lady I think we really there. do only have one woman writing on the show this year. No, no two. I think there are two. There are two. two. Look at that. You're safe. Uh, yeah. yeah, he could transition. Just... <laughs> <laughs> you never know. We did have one or two seasons where it was all dudes, and that was no good. It's not good. Uh -huh. No, it yeah. gets kind of gross. It, it, right. it gets off the rails. I went to an all boys school, and like you the, know. the yeah. jokes, the jokes you make, you're like, I can't bring this anywhere. Yeah, right. Not even good right. jokes. At yeah. a certain point, you need you, you need a nice split to keep everybody sure. on the tracks. But all the same race. Um, <laughs> I mean, come on. What are we doing here? But yeah, we. So you, how was the pitch for the uh, the movie? Because we we're gonna have to pitch ours. We just wrote it. Um, oh, okay. We just wrote it and sent it around, and like it, it was pretty good. We got a lot of hey, this is really funny, but uh, we don't make these kinds of movies. Yeah, right, um, right. We'll be up against that, but uh, yeah, Yikes. we found uh, Spyglass was really cool. That, oh, nice. Uh, kind of came in at the end, and we're like, we'll green light this today. Can we yeah. watch a minute of the trailer? Is that okay? Sure. Yeah, Go for it. it. Once that bell rings, we're in high school. You know what that means? Anything is possible. Sophomore man, it's never gonna happen. She hasn't met the new me. I don't wanna dance around anymore. Ow! For a second there, I thought you might have been fucking the door. Can you leave? <laughs> My parents go out of town this weekend. My brother's throwing a massive rager. Wow! You clits are my three plus one. I'm out. I think I'm out too, man. We're the only freshmen invited. That's all I'm gonna move on Bailey. You're gonna earn your brother's respect. Oh, you're gonna stop being scared, and you're gonna lose that shitty nickname. What up, fetus? Hey, fellas. <laughs> Fuck. Are we? Yeah. When you're writing that, do you picture this while you're writing it? You picture like, oh, we're gonna have a trailer. It's gonna look like this. Uh, no. We pictured fetus, and we were like, that's going to be a struggle to find that kid. Yeah. Uh, right. That guy was hard to find. It's it's tough to say, like, we need, like, a 13-year-old Joe Pesci. Yeah. <laughs> there was also a kid in our high school uh, who got the nickname fetus, so we had, like, a very specific image in our head, and yeah. it was hard to replicate. Tough nickname. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is great, though. Coming of age, uh, the kids are going to love it. Oh, yeah. We're checking all the boxes. We'll see. August 23rd, yes. once again. And then it'll disappear into the ether <laughs> yeah. around the August 25th, 26th, <laughs> yeah. yeah, we'll you'll, move on. You'll get your moment in the sun on the Netflix top 10, yeah. and it's all just grab bag after that, just I shifting. Feel, I feel like they, they don't make these types of movies, though, right now. I, I just saw that Vince Vaughn interview. Yes. Where, like, yeah. where, where he's like, uh, the, every movie they make is like Battleship. It has to have like yeah. some IP. Right. But it's so true. That, like, these are, oh, they always end up being your favorite movies if you're in high school or co like Super Bad or, when we, you know, American Pie, I remember when oh, high huge. school was big. Oh, my goodness. It's, it's been a minute, for sure. 
Yeah. Oh, we're doing Look it. Look at that. Huh? It's a big old cube. Right. Do you get approached to be like, hey, do you want to write a movie about, uh, <laughs> geez. Nice. Barely fit. Never had that experience. <laughs> the like woman. the big dick guy. But, uh, <laughs> but, uh, Power play. Yeah. But uh, do you get approached to be like, hey, do you want to write this like shitty IP thing ever or no? Yes. Oh, yeah. What, yeah. What's like the a worst one you got? A lot of Candyland. Candyland. <laughs> how, how is Candyland? I don't even understand that that could be a movie. You know, what? we yeah. thought the same. I remember years ago, someone asked us if we'd be interested in, in Legos. And ah. said, That's the dumbest idea I've ever heard. <laughs> Fair and enough. That, that turned out well. Yeah. That's true. It's a good point. Some interesting like rewrite or not rewrite reboot stuff gets pitched to us, and sometimes they're just like, "You guys want to reboot Ferris Bueller's Day Off?" And you're just right. like, "Are you Jeez. out of your fucking I know. mind?" Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah no, but every now that. and then, like, there's like a bad '80s movie or a decent like License to Drive or something comes mm -hmm. around. That would be an okay reboot. I think. Yeah. That's good. You could improve that. Yeah. That was already shit. Yeah. You don't want to take a <laughs> beloved classic. And, yeah. yeah. Here about them remaking like Back to School. I'm like. Uh, that's, uh, that's all Rodney. Sacrilegious. Daddy Shack gets thrown around a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they redid a White Man Can't Jump. And it right. Was, that went well. That really came and went <laughs> in two seconds. Our uh, The guy who produced this movie with us, Connor Welch, revealed when that came out, he's like, White Man Can't Jump is my favorite movie ever made. And we were oh. interesting. Oh, I, I like that. Oh, that's a big pour. I love that movie. I can quote that movie every line. It's a terrific movie. movie. We do a lot of stookies. Yeah. yeah. Throw that around a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and a the hook shot. Title of any movie. By the way, yeah. you, got, you yeah. guys brought this in. I appreciate it. Oh, absolutely. Of course. Yeah. We yeah. know better than Let's, to show up and come sure. home empty handed. <laughs> Cheers. Whoa, you brought you. this? We did. Oh, thank you, boys. Yeah. yeah. Hey, off. I was uh, interested to see if you guys were actually going to be drinking it at noon on a. Uh, on a week. Yeah, night, I so. need it. It's one o'clock. to you, yeah. This is yeah. good. This is like a Cabernet cask, he said. This is crazy. Yeah, I know nothing Ooh, about it other than... Smoky. Uh, bourbon in a wine cask. What are wow. what are the limes for? Do you guys often pair limes with a whiskey? If or? we do a whiskey soda, I like a lime. Man. Interesting. Mm, yeah. yeah. I'm a lime guy as well. I like that. Yeah. Um, and congratulations on your whiskey. Hey, yeah. thank you. Oh, thank you. Exactly. We're sold out, which awesome. is kind of a good sign. <laughs> And yeah. you worked it into the movie, which yes, I know. Uh, yeah, one hand wash. I'm, I'm, sh I'm shitting on on people riding around a stupid thing. I'm like, anyway, our bodega cat movie. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that's a big commercial. That's our yeah, two hour commercial. Yeah, you always saw you guys were always great at that, like integrating products into the show and then selling them on the side. Like what? Yeah. What, did, what did they sell? They did the the dick towels. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, that's yeah. Right. They always have a few of those. A lot of merch coming out of that show. Yeah, there's so many. I mean, there's so many great... You did the skiing episode, too, right? We did that one, yeah. That's Damn, a fucking... That's yeah. a great episode. Thank you. I mean, pull up the pull up the Dennis monologue with the... Uh, <laughs> what, what is it What's, with the woman about I will uh, enter you? Clean. <laughs> yeah, you must be clean. I don't think we can take credit for that speech. I think that's David Hornsby. Oh, oh nice. Be, yeah. He's yeah. awesome. <laughs> yeah. That's a great... This is a great scene. I want you to clean yourself, for I will enter you hard and deep. It will last for as long or as short as I please. But you will be clean. <laughs> Only when you are clean will you know my power. That's fucking great. <laughs> the power thing, well, that was a true story from, from one of the girls in the writer's room. Yes. Some guy said that to me. <laughs> I want to give you my power. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Wow, I gotta stop using that. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. So how did you guys I mean I don't go James Lipton on you, but how did did you write a spec script to get hired? Yeah. Uh in the days I, of spec scripts. In the days of spec scripts. Yeah. And it was like early enough that I don't think there were a ton of sunny spec scripts going around. Right. Um but yeah, wrote a spec script, uh got hired to work as uh Rob McElhenney's assistant what? on another show that they were doing, and then we just kinda Kept nagging them until yeah. uh, they gave us a script on Sonny. Damn. Really? Yeah. You just kind of were like, hey, can I can I write this? Uh, we had, you know, they were really cool when I was their assistant and uh, knew we wanted to write. They would let you write scenes for episodes every now and then. Uh, yeah, they were just really cool about ushering young people into that room. See, you hear that kid? Just got to get in the door. Yeah. You, you know? say assistant. You mean writer's assistant? Or like I was, going I was the writer's room? assistant on another show they did. Oh, okay. oh Boldly Going meant... Nowhere. Got it. Like Sunny meets Star Trek. I remember it for a minute. Yeah. yeah, it was really funny. We wrote a bunch of them and then kind of repurposed them for Sunny over the years. Uh, but yeah, then I was writer's assistant on Sunny, and then uh, John came on. We wrote a script together, and then... Uh, he came on season five, season season six. We wrote a script season five. Yes, yes. Damn. Yeah, yeah I wrote a uh, "How I Met Your Mother" spec script. 
years ago, and uh, I figured, hey, this show's not that funny. I could do this. <laughs> yeah. <You know? laughs> Uh, I think that's the move. Or writing a, like a fucked up How I Met Your Mother. Like right. the famous spec was always the 9-11 Seinfeld. Yeah. What? what? Wait, wait, what I don't even know this. Someone what? wrote a 9-11 <laughs> Seinfeld spec. That's already what? funny. Uh, like, yeah, yeah that's like years that's... after it had been off the air. Uh, and it was genius. What? There are a couple, there are a couple other Sunny writers who wrote a, a Golden Girls Gone Wild script. Yeah. Whoa. Uh, and that was hilarious because you're yeah. just showing you're funny in it right that's yes. all because it's not yeah. pretty you're much i mean we would take meetings with writers who wrote like someone wrote a script about a talking vagina and we we're like well we need to meet these women like yeah that's, that's <laughs> weird that's out there that's funny <laughs> at a certain point anything you can do to stand out from the hundred other scripts i think is the move i think we got to shoot this 9-11 sign can we get, a, <laughs> can we get our hands on the script <laughs> What? Yeah. Whoa, yeah. <laughs> man. That's very quick. Good for you. 2016. I would have thought earlier than that. Yeah. Maybe that's a rewrite. You got to give just, it a little time. Just needs one more polish. In so the... right. when you when you <laughs> yeah. read scripts, like what do, do you guys want to direct also or, or just write? We want to direct. We directed the movie, but mostly because yeah. I think in TV the writer just has a lot more power, and in movies, right. you know, it kind of gets cast aside. So we wanted to. Have as much creative control, I guess, as we can. But we didn't know what the fuck we were doing when we yeah. got into directing a movie. Sure. I knew I was fucked when I was watching like a James Cameron master class the night before. We <laughs> 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 That's great. I do love those master classes. They're great. They're great. The Steve Martin one's amazing. I gotta yeah. watch that. Oh, they're all the Aaron Sorkin one's great. Uh, but it went well, I think. I think so. Yeah. We'll find out very soon. to see it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, check it out. Is it exciting? You could be the movie of this generation or whatever. That could be you guys. Can anyone be that uh, anymore? Yeah. Do you <laughs> care enough? Yeah, I hope so. It's definitely a movie that's not getting made these days. Exactly. And I think if you get memed, if people make memes out of your movie, you've made it. I'd love a meme. Meme is big. Somebody yeah. meme our movie, please. What? I, I think everybody's worried about us getting canceled. And yeah. I think we should be so lucky. To <laughs> yeah. I don't think that's happening anymore. Anymore. It seems like we're a little past it. Yeah. yeah. If you fuck a kid, you should maybe get canceled. But sure. over jokes, sure. like, come on, what are we doing? You know what? And I want to see the kid first. Is the kid, how how attractive is a kid? Yeah, good point. Were they pushing the legal envelope? Uh, no, but seriously, I mean, like, as Mark said, they don't make these movies anymore, and and people need these movies. I do wonder that this generation doesn't care about movies the way we we grew up. Really, well, I don't think they definitely no. Don't. But it's just a bummer. Like, we grew up, like, Mark and I are obsessed with, like, old Hollywood. and Oh, yeah. You know, the stories about making The Godfather in Chinatown and all that shit. We grew up with, like, you know, I think, you know, being kids of the 90s, we had great comedies that shaped me. Yeah. Something about Mary, Dumb and Dumber, uh, all that stuff. I mean, those guys are our heroes, the Fairley Brothers. Do you and know? Oh, really? Yeah, I actually worked for them right out of college, which wow. was awesome. And they're How like, did that happen? Uh, I was just like running around begging everyone I knew, like, do you have a job for me? Do you have someone I can meet who might have a job? And after like 30 people, I bumped into one of their producers, this guy Bradley Thomas, who's the man, and he was like, hey, you can come work for me. I was like, wow. oh, amazing. Yeah. Jesus. They had a killer run. I mean, Dumb and Dumber, Kingpin Mary out of the gates. Woo! Insane. There's never been a better yeah. one, two, three. Me, myself, punch. and Irene, underrated. Awesome. We say that all the time. Yeah. 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 Incredible Jim Carrey performance. Oh, that was insane. Their dicks are bigger than those sausages right there. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. I feel like the kids haven't had enough to la enough quality comedy exactly. to latch on to. So maybe yeah. maybe they'd be interested. It's kind of, uh -huh. yeah. What's well, weird how kids now, I, they watch Seinfeld and Friends. Yeah. They're in the office. They're going backwards to Do old they? shit. I, oh, yeah. It's funny, like, with Jerry getting dragged for supporting <laughs> Israel lately, like, I'll see in the comments sometimes, they're like, can we be done with this guy? He's not even funny. And uh, like, well, I know. wait a second. <laughs> I know. That's the best show ever made. Yes. It's great. Yeah. Not only that, but I, some of his stand-up clips pop up. His Olympic medal That clip, popped up. That popped up for me, too, because the Olympics. Dude, pull up this clip. It's just signed. It's like a 15-second clip. It's, it's such a perfect... <laughs> Seinfeld Olympics. It should be a 15 second one, yeah. but it's it's such a perfect Seinfeld bit. Some of the bits in the show are dated, but mm -hmm. you know, is is a short one. I was in London. Uh, about uh well, they, yeah, they right? stitched it with the. It actually happened. The joke he tells actually what happens on the Olympics with the uh, Noah yeah. with Noah Wiles, whatever his name is, who won Noah the race. Lyle? Yeah, 
That was pretty cool, though. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. And he, the guy who shit-talked all the NBA players. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> and I saw Josh Hart, who's my guy, Knicks fan. He was like, he's like, nah, he got a gold medal. Let him talk. Yeah. You know? I was like, all right. He, he did the anime uh, whatever world, what, not, what is it called? Z, Dragon Ball Z uh, at the oh, end. Yeah. Yes, well, this anime is interesting because it's the toughest people and the nerdiest people love it. <laughs> a lot of range. Here right. we go. That, that photo finish, you know the photo finish was always silver, gold. <laughs> this is the whole race. Gold, silver, bronze, dead last. <laughs> <laughs> Greatest guy in the world, never heard of him. <laughs> That's perfect. That's is, genius. Is yeah. that the guy from the 9-11 Seinfeld? <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. That's a great bit. I got his book recently, Great Bathroom Read. The, is this anything? Yeah. yeah. You, can, you can read a sentence and put it down. Very satisfying. Well, that's a perfect book. Yeah. yeah. Sure. He had another book called Sign Language, which is just his act on paper. No one has gotten more money out of their act than sign. Carlin did the same thing. Carlin had like <laughs> yeah, four of them. That's true. But then he did another, he did a special called like the Seinfeld Early Years, and it was like his old act <laughs> and not his new act. I'm like, man, this guy can milk. And then didn't he have one called I'm Telling You for the Last Time? Which that was that one. Oh, that was that one. Yeah. <laughs> So he writes an act, and he's going to get everything out of it. It's like the in, Great Depression. In, in, in a few years, he's like, all right, one more ride. Yeah. <laughs> the same material. Yeah. One more. Yeah, exactly. It's like when Last Kiss does the reunion tour. Last one. The oh. 19 Yeah, what were the, what were the movies that made you want to get into making comedy movies? Oh, man. Certainly those Fairleys are, are the big ones we always reference. Yeah. But we, yeah, like you said, it was a great time. You know, like the Apatow movie, those early Apatow movies, the Todd Phillips movies. For sure. Yeah. I also feel like there were a lot of 90s movies like like Airheads or something. That oh, I love Airheads. It's great, but people don't know about yes. it. Yeah. PCU. Like, I love PCU. Yeah. I mean, those uh, Vince Vaughn, Favreau, Swingers and Maid. Sure. Which yeah. ones. Sure. I tried to show, I used to date a girl younger and, than me, and she, I tried to show way younger and no uh. she was legal and uh no so like seven years younger but which is not that much but then we're watching swingers and she's just like so they just call women skanks and I was uh, like, it was the 90s you don't, yeah. you don't yeah. get it ago. it was a different time it was, it was a better time dude, I, that's the thing comedies like they just seven years that's all it takes uh, I, I showed her ace Ventura. she's like so we just acts retarded uh, <laughs> that was the that was the joke my friend yeah. told we didn't me say it to kids recently and they were like this isn't funny this guy's severely disabled uh, <laughs> I think billy madison gets that sometimes yeah. so billy madison blows phenomenal. me away though because i rewatch it i'm like this is just like this is like jazz it's just sandler <laughs> yeah, like it's just true. sandler like riffing well what's you know? incredible that's is like hilarious. picturing people sitting around the monitors watching yes that with like no laughter just being like Fuck, I don't know. Maybe in video yeah. village, this is funny. Yeah. And he's yeah. like, "Stop so, looking at me, Swan." Yeah. Like, where did that come yeah. from? That could have been written Cut. down. Moving on. I yeah. watched an interview once with Jim Carrey talking about uh, watching the dailies of Ace Ventura and just hysterically laughing with his producer, saying, "It's it's over. Goodbye, Hollywood." <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. I mean, so same with. I feel like he went even more nuts in Nature Calls. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Solid sequel, too. When he came out of that rhino, I mean, that's like Mark Twain <laughs> Award level height of comedy. Yeah. Doesn't get any better than that. And there are kids now who don't appreciate Jim Carrey. No. Nick, oh. I had a killer run. Totally. They're but like, it's been a guy. while since he's done a comedy. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Well, so they probably don't know. I, but there's also when people say, like, they don't know. You don't watch old movies ever? Like, I watch movies from the 40s constantly. I know. I've heard of the Beatles. <laughs> you know? Like, what are we doing here? Yeah, we're watching from the 40s. Oh, fucking noir, dude. He's a noir uh, head. Uh, oh, yeah. 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 Are you throwing like, you know, any Orson Welles thing or like, yeah. Yeah, I love that shit. It's just good writing. Like, I, I always say this, even if you don't like, you know, I mean, Noir and comedy are so similar, right? Like, Double Indemnity is fucking hilarious. Uh, yeah. Double That's like a perfect script. So, very tight writing. Exactly. Yeah. So how do you not, how do you like writing and not appreciate that era? Because they had to do more with words. So I, right. I think it's so cool. Or like The Big Heat or like movies of that era. I love. There's a great, uh, I think it's The Postman Always Rings Twice. Yes. I don't know why this mm. sticks with me. But in that book, there's a moment where this guy is about to hook up with a woman. And he says, like, I had to have her. And then it just goes, new line, I had her. <laughs> Whoa. Like, oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, that was uh that's when he's fucking the guy's wife, right? Yes. Yeah, that's a I mean, that's an awesome book. Good that's title. Same writer as Double Indemnity. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, well your your post today on Instagram, that's a noir line. What? I mean, 
pull up Sam's. Uh, I don't oh, know which yeah. of the line, but I'm like, this is just a this is a line that could be. No, fun. I know what you mean. Where the girl said, I don't even remember my own act. I don't remember. Once you burn an hour, you don't. I don't remember. People will like request jokes for you on the road all right? the time, and I'm like, I don't fuck. That's like three hours ago. I don't fucking know my act. Like from I, the crowd. They really? Yeah. yeah, they'll be like, they'll be like, oh, I have a bit about like a white knight vigilante. Uh, no, it's on the other way. So we might be drunk. I think. Post. Oh, was it drunk? But, uh, but. You know, there's a vigilante in Cleveland. I'm like, tell that story. I'm like, that was like from four years ago. I, <laughs> I know. We wrote it and we still don't remember it. Because you're just pushing out well, you, so much. You're pushing content. it out. So you're like, let me write a new act, you know? Go to the first one, the last, the literally the uh, the top one. There you go. Yeah. What, Look at this. <laughs> this is a noir line. Oh, yeah. That is a good one, Noir Line. Oh, yeah. yeah. She gave me a look. Oh, I, I forgot we're on audio, too. You're very you... attractive. She goes, you're just saying that because you were trying to sleep with me. I said, and you're smart as well. Yeah. Said, hey, that's, <laughs> uh, that's like, uh, that's you know, writing. Cary noir. Grant. Do you ever see uh, Phil Hartman's SNL audition where he does it's the It's incredible. Oh, oh, amazing. That. So oh, my up. God. Dude, that, he, does, he did a detective. Dude, I love those types of lines, though. I never got Phil Hartman. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 trying to be different. Wow, look at the the balls this takes to sit in that. And no one laughs during these. They just like right. it was midnight when it happened. I was parked in front of Four Fingers of Bourbon at the Swanee Club on La Brea Avenue. <laughs> Most ex flyboys were making babies and buying refrigerators. But in the aftermath of my POW experience, I'd rekindled a relationship with two old pals. Jack Daniels and Jim Beam. <laughs> my life was rapidly going down the porcelain convenience. I could barely afford cigarettes, whiskey, and food. Looked like the food was gonna have to go. <laughs> <laughs> we had two things in common with the colored patrons of the Swanee Club. We all love Nat King Cole. And we were all fed up with white people. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you know he's practicing yeah. that at home, you know, and his wife's like, I'm yeah. gonna push this guy in a pool. Oh, <laughs> drive me crazy. Well, <laughs> she had some money. She shot him too. Oh, she shot him? Yeah, yeah. Oh, my bad. I thought she drowned him. Well, he was asleep, which Drowning I don't know if that's him, like that the way been... to go or just, I don't know. <laughs> Wait, she shot him while he was sleeping? Yeah. I didn't know that. Wow, I didn't know that either. Holy oh, my God. One of our one of our great moments in this podcast history is uh, Al Franken was on. Oh. It's our worst episode ever. <laughs> and uh, and, Nor- and we're talking about Phil Hartman, how great he was. And Mark just goes, oh, my God, his wife's a fucking... <laughs> and and Al was like, well, I think she's, you know, very, was, you know, mentally, you know, off. And Mark, you know, it's like a school shooter. And Mark goes, they're c- Yeah, they are. <laughs> And Al was just down. like, uh, he just yeah. didn't have any. <laughs> this isn't a courtroom. You can't get out on insanity. You yeah. Know? You still killed a uh, no, That was, I mean, yeah, you leave, I wonder, I mean, those, those kids were orphans after that shit. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. Yes. Ah, oh, shit, I didn't yeah. think about that. Out of town. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, I love Mando. Next time you fly, instead of trying to bring 100 tiny bottle through TSA, simplify your life with Mando's 4-in-1 acidified cleaning bar. Good read. It's a 5-ounce bar that does the work of shampoo, face wash, body wash, and deodorant, so you can save room in your suitcase for more snacks. Mm. This cleansing bar is made with alpha hydroxy acid that stops odor right at the source. Mando's good, man. You get a nice little natural deodorant. Smell nice. Very nice. Three amazing scents, too. They got Mount Fuji, wow. bourbon leather. Wow. Takes me back to my SM days. And Pro Sport. <laughs> Mando's starter pack is perfect for new customers. It comes with a solid stick deodorant, cream tube deodorant, and two free products of your choice, like mini body wash and deodorant wipes and free shipping. New here, customers here. get five dollars off a starting pack with our exclusive code that's forty percent off your starter pack. Use code drunk at shopmando.com. That's S H O P M A N D O dot com code drunk. Yeah. Hey hey folks Hims. I know your schedule is busy, but you don't always have time to go to the doctor's office to get the ED meds. Before you start hitting up the mini mart for some sort of mystery pills, check out Hims. Hims provides access to affordable sexual health treatments, all from the comfort of your own home, with a range of doctor trusted ED treatments like chewable hard mints, well known brands like Viagra and Cialis, or generic brands for up to a 95% savings. Hims has what you need to get rock hard. We love Hims. Sam can't get it up. This is important. He's got a lady. You got a satisfier. It's easy to sign up. Everything I is 100 online. It doesn't work. Yes, until now. It doesn't now. work. I had a bad flight the other day. I was like, my fucking, 
my fucking flight's canceled. Yep. My dick doesn't work. And yep. I can't help you with the second one. I was like, well, guess what? Hymns can. Yeah. Yeah. Start your free online visit today at hymns.com slash drunk. That's H-I-M-S dot com slash drunk for your personalized ED treatment options. Hymns.com slash drunk. The products mentioned are chewable compounded products which are not approved or verified for effectiveness by the FDA. Do I have to read that part? Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate restrictions apply. See website and details. Im- important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Hymns, get on it. <laughs> yeah, well, that really went dark. <laughs> They're big fans of the show. <laughs> no, so. Phil, Phil Hartman. Phil Hartman was the fucking man. Caveman lawyer was the best. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Three amigos. Take the amigos club. Oh yeah. <laughs> that was a nice the little amigos are out of role. Yeah. <laughs> Martin <laughs> Short House was like the funniest. Sinbad, everyone. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Greedy. That's the thing about '90s movies. Even the bad ones hold a, a very special place in my oh, heart. Dirty greedy work. Greedy accidents Gre- happen. Yeah, greedy. <laughs> greedy is a good movie. Yeah, I don't even know what too. that is. Never heard greedy? of greedy. Oh, greedy's like Michael saw that J. In theaters. Fox. Uh, right? Yeah. Michael J. Fox, Phil Hartman. Uh, it's not a good movie. Nah, but it's got <laughs> moments. some moments. It's got its moments. Kirk Douglas. Sure. Yeah. 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 Damn, Kirk well, Douglas had such a run, man. Didn't he lived to like 102 or something. Yeah, he looked something at greedy. Yeah, he did look half alive. I mean, that's yeah. look at that handsome dimple. man. Holy yeah, shit, what a man. strong yeah. chin. Yeah, <laughs> well, that was the thing back then. There was no internet, so you just went to a shitty comedy. Yeah. Like this will kill a day. That, that's why they're not watching because they're yeah. TikTok. Like before, although before bed, I want to watch a movie. Like I, I something about that still. And I you just, don't have any trouble focusing. Because no. I find that, I, even me now, I can't put my phone away. I have to put yeah. it in another room to watch a movie. It's I, hard. I set up like a, a movie room in my new place, and I'm like, it's like I won't I won't look at my phone. Because I, I put up like cool sound and stuff. I just I never seen the movie Strangers on a Train. I just threw it on Not the other day. Movie. It's fucking great. Yeah. It's incredible. Mm-hmm. But it's just like so many movies out there. That's why I don't get when people like... Don't, so this generation doesn't have the movies to choose from, but like you don't go back twenty years. I know, I don't get it. Oh, I have like a list of a thousand things that I think every single one of them someone has told me that's the best movie ever made, I and know. I haven't seen it. Right. I have a list too. I just, just keep writing them down. Way at it. Yeah, a your list that at this point incredible. I could never get through for the rest of my life. There's so many movies. What are, What are like your all time like? Not just comedies, but like all time movies that you feel like any writer needs to watch. Oh, any man. writer. Yeah. Mm. Uh, uh, Good question. I do think something about Mary is like, yeah, perfect. that's script. perfect. Like, that's how we learn to write, just reading the something about Mary. Wow. Script yeah. Again. Frank's uh, what, what about it is like, so I, I agree with you. But. Just the, the, the uh, tightness with which they write their action lines. There's just no extra fat. Um, it's the same way like Seinfeld and Larry David wrote, like, you know, they really let the story and the characters drive the, the movie forward. The way they set up and call back uh, in comedy, I think is like I mean, it's more a, satisfying. It's yeah. an incredible. Joke. It's something like that movie opens with Ben Stiller like telling this like fucked up story from his childhood, and then he says like, "So I pulled over to a highway rest area." Yes, Richard Jenkins is like. Those are homosexual. <laughs> <laughs> think that's the joke, and you forget about it for an hour, and then later yes. he gets arrested yeah. in like a sting yes. at a rest area. Yeah. And that joke on its own is funny. Yeah, right. Yeah, and then Woogie you throw in Harlan. setting up Woogie, Woogie in the opening pages, right. and then Chris yeah. Elliott's Woogie. Wow, you're right. I, I, the callback. I you know what? Also, that. we watched it. We did it like after I did a tour bus tour last year and on the bus we'd watch movies at night and we threw that on and my friend, we didn't have a copy so my camera guy James just downloaded it illegally so we got we got the extended cut with all the scenes they didn't cut and holy shit do they cut the right scenes yeah oh like totally. the one the, there's an extra scene in it that i remember seeing in the tra- in the credits you know when they're all doing build me up buttercup but it's just matt dylan yeah. squeezing oh, cameron that. diaz tits and that was a scene in the movie that was a scene where like it's the end of the date and he says like can I feel your tits? Or <laughs> just like, sure, knock yourself out. Uh, like, yeah, it's a good cut. It's and it's just, cut. it's it's yeah. funny to see, but you're like, wow, that does Because we were watching with James, who had never seen it. We wow. quoted it. Gary Veter and I, who toured together, like, we quote it nonstop. How did it play for a first timer? He was blown away, but also those scenes were like, ooh, this is a weird scene. This this was cut. And right. there were scenes in the in the credits. I I was like, oh, that's weird. You know, it was a great joke that was cut. Uh, you know, Matt Jeffrey Tambor, right? Is yep. that his name? Yeah. Yep. Matt Dillon's friend. He's got the snake there. Yeah. There's a scene later in the movie when he comes home and uh, the snake has a giant bulge in its belly, 
and he thinks it's the dog. He goes, ah, poor dog. Poor dog. And yeah. then the dog walks out, and you realize it's Jeffrey Tambor. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Who's wow. been drinking now. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's almost too cartoony <laughs> yeah. to keep in. But Dumb and Dumber, I, we saw the extended cuts too, and like everything they cut was hilarious. Yeah. I thought Dumb and Dumber might be the most purely funny movie. Yeah, yeah, it's up there. Yeah. And just masters in likability, which is overrated. But they do a great like uh, Woody and Kingpin is a Kingpin despicable love. character, but like they do such a good job making you care about that guy. Early yes, on. you got Munson. Yeah. <laughs> I saw that on a date when I was like 14, and the girl was like trying to hook up, and I was like, hey, hey, yeah. this is too good. <laughs> Such a funny movie. You Got Munson is so fucking good. Bill God, Murray, uh, Randy Quaid. Yeah. The hot chick from Weird Science who never sure. showed up again. We had Harlan Williams in here. He's saying he, uh, was, no way. he was up for the Bill Murray part, and Andy was up for the Jeff Daniels part. And That's oh, right. right. Yeah. Hey. No offense to Harlan Williams, but I think he made the right decision. <laughs> yeah. oh, for sure. <laughs> I think he, he, he agrees. He steals the scenes that yes. he's yes. in both those yes. movies. Harlan is yeah. like so good in comedies too, though. So good. I mean, the weird choice he makes in Dumb and Dumber with like the. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Or in the uh, something about Mary when they're like, he's like seven monkeys hanging on a branch. Yeah. Oh, all that shit. Where'd that come from? Yeah. Which is when he's like, what if someone comes up with six minute ads? Or he's just like, yeah, he can't no. take it. He's the disgusted. <laughs> like, it's so funny. Yeah. By the way, you said where did that come from? We spent like an hour and a half with him. He's fucking insane. He's I mean, that was, yeah. I mean, where did it come from? That's just who he is. Yeah, that's like, true. He's, he's awesome. But it uh, takes that direction, that director, to be able to like go. This is great. Yeah. Play. Keep going. Yeah. Get weird. I get bummed when I heard Todd Phillips said he'll never make a comedy again. I don't think that's true. I think he's. I think he'll around. come back around. Really? Yeah. I, he has to. I've always feel like once you go. From drama, uh, comedy to drama, you don't come back. I don't know. I mean, Pete Fairley won an Oscar. Yeah, that's true. Made Ricky Stenicky. Yeah, that's true. Good point. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. gonna relapse. Yeah, I'm telling you, Todd's coming God back. Willing. I hope he's fucking perfect. I mean, but even when I would see like The Hangover, like when they first pull into Vegas, you're just like, this guy directed the shit out of oh, this. Oh, yeah. unreal! Like, Bang three bangers out of the eight. Uh, old school road trip Hangover. I love unbelievable. Trip doesn't road get trip. the credit it deserves. It's great a great. Movie. We, that's we, my favorite. We rewatched that wow. on the road as a as a group, and we were like, Gary and I were like, oh, like, it's one of those where we turned it on and we're like, I hope this holds up. Yeah. Because like, you don't want your youth to be a lie. No. I, think right. it, I haven't seen it in a decade, but it holds it, up, It right? was great. Yeah. What, it was better than I remember. What goes on the bus that you guys are like, oh, this does not hold up? Oh, or it does not question. get the good reaction good you're hoping for? Good this question. is a tough one to say, but I'd never seen it. James really, really vouched for semi-pro. Uh, I love Will Ferrell, uh, and I was like, "All right, I'm. I love basketball. I love Will Ferrell. Let's watch it." I, it was probably one of my least favorite Will Ferrell movies. There's a reason it's not held to the the same yeah. in the same esteem as the others, and it's not a knock. I mean, I love a lot of the people involved in it too. It's just like it's fucking hard. I think yeah. it's hard to make a killer comedy. It's really hard. I love Talladega. I love yeah. Uh, well, they had a lot of cookie cutter Will Ferrell sports. Yeah, you know, like Blades of Glory, Talladega. Then Semi was too one. much. Yeah, it was kicking and screaming. Yes. Yeah, they they overdid it. it. I remember being lukewarm on Talladega, and I watched it recently, and it was so fucking fun. It's so good. <laughs> it's yeah, great. I don't know. I think he was so hot that we took him for yeah. granted. Yeah. Mm. Because the other guys on TV all the time, that and I'm like, this is fucking great. You know? Yeah. yeah. Too hot. <laughs> People said about me in college. <laughs> for granted, couldn't get laid. But yeah, yeah. Will Ferrell's on the Mount Rush of comedy movies. Yeah. What do you guys want to do next? Like, do you have? Do you already know what Drama. you're doing? Drama. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't go Green Book on us. Come on. He did win an Oscar, but yeah. Yeah. Well, you, Twelve Years a Slave is amazing. I will say. That's yeah. a fantastic. Oh my movie. God, though. I I said that I went to the Comedy Cellar one night and I I was just seeing it and I was like. I was like, wow, 12 Years of Slave was great. And Keith Robinson, older black guy at the cross table, goes, shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, you don't want to be gushing about 12 fair. Years of Slave to that an elder great. black man. I remember that year when people would be like, what's your favorite movie of the year? And you'd be like, 12 Years of Slave. That's <laughs> awesome. Like, well, don't say it like that. Yeah. Like, I saw it in St. Louis in one of those like reclining fancy theaters. Oh, right. And I was like, this is, you feel extra guilty <laughs> yeah. being pampered, you know? But terrible. 
I mean, no, he's an he's an incredible actor too. That guy, that, that movie was brutal. Amazing. amazing. She would tell. Also, she she was discovered in that movie. That Sarah. Yeah. Oh. No, uh, the young. Oh, uh, she's great. Lupito, she's in the new uh, Lupito. Yeah. Oh my god, oh, I love right. it. It's incredible. I love that they were like bragging. They're like she she got this. Oh, she only they only paid her thirteen grand for that movie. I'm like in a movie about slavery. <laughs> you're, you're bragging about how little you played. <laughs> I heard I they're incredible. making a sequel with uh, Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> the slave. <laughs> I like that. They, I like that. Uh, <laughs> Tropic Thunder. That was good. Tropic Thunder looks better and better with every passing year. I know. It's right. it's one of the last great comedies, I think. I saw yeah. it in the theater. Yeah. Over 10 years now, I bet. It's so Longer, good. I would say, yeah. Also, also, Brad Pitt cast himself as like the white as The savior. white savior. Yeah. 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 He's like, I'll be the white guy who does the right I'll thing. I'll be the hero. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is great. Have you guys seen I, I, I just saw, did I just? No. Oh, yeah, no, go ahead. Sorry. These are my submissions. Oh no, no! Shit, that's not it. No. I just saw the new Quiet Place with. Uh, I heard it's amazing with Lupita. It's fucking good. That's dude. what my girlfriend said. The other it's night. surprising. My friend, who's like a real movie snob, Ronan Hirschberg. He's like, he's like, my, he hates everything. Sounds like a movie. Snob. He's annoying. <laughs> with it. Yeah. He only likes movies if it's like, if it's like, you know that friend who's like, it's got to be just like a brutal watch. Yeah. And he's like, no, a Quiet Place. And I was like, shocked. It's fucking good. That's my buddy, our buddy uh, Alex Wolf, who who listens to the pod, is great in it. He's awesome. Oh, nice. We got we got to get him. He's you know, the kid from Pig. Yes, we yes. Got, that was a Pig great was movie. Good. Yeah, was he's awesome. awesome. Yeah. Oh, he's awesome, dude. That I love them. He that on a plane. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's awesome. Not to get weird, but do you guys have any writing moves? Like, do you light a candle? Do you turn the jazz on? Do you do you have a way you write? We light something. <laughs> oh, all right. Do you do you smoke when you're writing? Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, there you go. I think yeah. it's a useful tool like at the end of a long day and you're like, look, let's spark this and we'll get out of here in an hour. Yeah. And it just unlocks a little part of the brain that you didn't have the rest of the day. Can't drink and write. No. Which is a shame. I feel I actually feel very fortunate. Yeah, it's probably for the best. It, yes. Like, so, I know people who can and, yeah. and you're jealous because it seems romantic. Yes, <laughs> yes. it's uh, you, can't, you can't you can drink and write. Eh, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't choose to. Yeah, stand up. I could drink and write. If I was working on a script, I couldn't. You no. can go out at night drinking with your mind kind of set on like let's let's come up with some bits and areas. Yeah, but like you're not you're not writing. A I feel script. like we we often <laughs> yeah. will like go take a trip somewhere when we have like an idea, and we're just like we went to Kansas City recently, and we we're just like let's do like four nights there, and we'll just like bang around all day like having beers, and like we'll talk about things, and that I find Find-ish is helpful. Shape. Yes. That's interesting. Yeah. Wow. Uh, tricks we do with no. Do we listen to music sometimes? Not when we're writing, but like if we're. We approach kidding. every script as if we've never done it before. So there's yeah. usually a day or two of like, how, how the fuck do you write a script? And then it kind of. It's probably like writing a new yourself. hour yeah. for us, where you're like, you feel like you're fucking just weak. Do yeah. You guys write shit though. Like, do you actually? Yeah, I do. Yeah. yeah. You have to. I I write notes and stuff. It's yeah. It's. Uh, Starting at zero with an hour, it's just the, looking at an empty notebook. Oh, the most nightmare. daunting the worst. thing. The worst. Working on Sunny was helpful because they'll send you off with an idea on Monday and be like, if you can get it to us by Friday, that'd be great. Oh, that's and, huge. And it's insane, but you realize like you can do it. Sometimes you hate it. Sometimes you love it. But either way, the audience is just like, yeah, that works. Like no matter how good or bad it is, every, yeah. it, it's always fine. When, yeah, yeah. Plus when we when bounce. we did the Mick, we every time they picked up like a back order of episodes, Dave and I would be like, "Well, there's no way to make twenty of these good. Like three of these have to suck." And yeah, we'd like be like, "All right, it can't be the last one. All right, no. sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Those will suck. We won't put in any effort. Who cares?" And then those would come out, and people would be like, "My favorite episode." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> how many? It make you crazy. The Mick was two seasons. How many? We did two, two so we did like forty episodes. Yeah. That's Damn. crazy. Yeah. yeah, I don't think. People really do that anymore. Though. Mm -mm. New girl on away. I think for the best. New girl was on when we were there, and they had done a couple seasons of like twenty four or twenty six, which is unholy. Yeah, that's like, a lot. But we would beg them, like, please no more, and they'd say, like, I've never, we've never had anyone in here begging us for less money, and we're like, if we hand in three bad ones in a row, you're going to cancel it, and then there will be no money. Exactly. So, well, Larry Did David would always have famously say, like, please yeah. get canceled. I yeah. can't, I can't, I got to write 20 of these? There's no way. And I totally relate to that. How he did that, because his name is on every one of those, too. So like, yeah. he did all the writing. Uh, yeah. We relied heavily on a writer's room. Yeah. Oh, that's huge. How many yeah. did you guys 
say you're like it's just gonna be us two writing at the end of the day it's us two on all of them wow on a rewrite but like the machine of breaking stories is so important uh and like you know we had unbelievably talented writers um but what you realize is like it it has to be in our voice or yeah. we're going to be weird about it like we'll be assholes about it we won't see it and it's not because it's not good it's just cuz we have to see it. I think, I think the Sunny guys were good about that too. Like they just would explain to you, like just give us a good script that makes sense. Like we can make it funny. Like, right. And I think we feel the same way. It's like if you give us something that works and all the stories track and like you understand people's motivations, like it's the easiest thing to sit there and be like, let's make this ten percent funnier. Yeah. Have you have you ever gotten a script all the way done? You're pretty happy with it, and then as they're shooting, you're like, damn, this is not good. Yes. Sure. That's terrifying. That's, it's horrible. Sure. You know, like, I mean, you go into a table read with, like, cocktail napkins, and you're like, we got to read this out loud. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, that's brutal. Uh, it's the worst. Are you, are you just feeding lines, or you just till the last minute? Like, what if you change it to this? Oh, and at that point, there was a lot of Adderall involved, <laughs> and, like, you have just, like, a, a kind so of So far, your tips are just line. drugs. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 <laughs> it's like an assembly line of five people just passing like two pages at a time forward and yeah. then you end with a, a decently funny script. But we've also had the late nights where we've looked each other in the eye and, and realized we've totally fucked it up and then yeah. you just hysterically laugh for 40 minutes. Right. Wow. It's like, goodbye. Goodbye, we, Hollywood. You've seen that uh, South Park doc where yeah. they yes. have 12 hours to come up with some genius episode and they just have to do it. It's insane. It's nice to have a deadline, I think. I think oh, yeah. That's the cool have. thing about TV is you get to a certain point where it's just like, it's three in the morning, and you're like, look, man, I don't know if it's good or not, but it shoots in four hours. Exactly. So, like, this is what it is. Yeah, and with stand-up, I know I've had this where I'm like, this is gold, holy shit, uh -huh. and then you do it, it bombs, and oh, then some dude. afterthought brain queef kills, <laughs> and you're like, wow, this is a hard well, uh, art Because well, you work so hard on just being... I, I'm a, such a big basketball fan. Walt Frazier from the Knicks is always like, he's aiming his shot, you know, when a player's shooting badly, and it's like, he's thinking about it. Yeah. Sometimes you just got to trust your fucking mechanics. Yeah. Like, Mark will keep, we do it for each other. We've been writing together for so long where we just bounce bits off each other, and I'll be like, that's fucking amazing. That's so good. And then you'll be like, it bombed. Yes. And, but then, but this works for both of us. I'll feel like, you know, sometimes you'll say the same to me, and it bombs, but Mark liked it, so I'll keep pushing there's yeah. something there like if your friend is like no don't give up on that yeah you stick with we Mark, have that yeah sure. oh great that's but like you, you guys at least don't have to go through like a network executive class yeah. to get to the audience that's a which nightmare is, which is hard that's the death of art yeah yes, what yeah what kind of notes are you getting all sorts of notes and i mean i don't know I think it's tricky because like you try to remind yourself like everyone wants it to succeed. Yeah. Everyone wants it to get better, but sometimes you're just like, who cares? Like, yeah. And yeah. you know no one's gonna if something falls flat, no one's gonna put their hand up and be like, Hey, that was my bad idea. Like it's yeah. gonna fall on you ultimately. Nor so. would like it would always frustrate us, like people would push back on things and then we would hold our ground, it would go on TV and it would kill, and no one comes up to you to be like, Yes, hey, I was wrong. Sorry. Yes. Uh, never. That's like, all I need. Yeah. I don't even think they remember most no, of the time they just go to their next meeting like they just have to say something in that meeting or else. but you guys are the ones working on your fucking chops and you guys are the ones getting good at writing and then you have a network person being like i don't think this is funny it's like well you don't know funny you, totally yeah. it's one thing when you're doing a movie when you're doing a tv show and you got 15 other professional comedy writers right. and you can say like well all the professionals agree that this is funny. So yeah. who are you guys? Like on the movie, everyone thinks you're just being like precious with it because it's yours. Uh, do you remember a joke you fought for that like got through and that was like that killed? Yeah, uh, good question. I remember we did a scene in the in the Mick where uh, a man beats the shit out of like 15 teenage girls and they were <laughs> they were not on board with that and like i think i think credit to them at the end of it they were like that was a hilarious scene that was hell yeah, wow. yeah. okay hell yeah and that should build you some credit like yeah, hey next time you come push back it, it doesn't it doesn't every yeah. week you start from uh, scratch i think though you can get really helpful notes from like thirty thousand feet where someone will come in and be like i don't feel like this is hitting the way you guys want it to or i don't i think you've like lost Lost track of the story here and that's yeah that's so fine beneficial. that's but great when people are like this isn't funny you're just like 
What the you fuck? Know, do it's you when know? they get You're too specific. Yeah, yeah, give us like a put it, push it in this direction. Yeah, yeah I don't get it. It should be than, this. If you right. say I don't get it, I love I don't get it because that's yeah. like oh I got to make it clear. But if, if they're yes. just like this isn't funny, that's not constructive. Yeah, no. I, you get that sometimes from someone like, have you ever made your friends laugh at a bar? Exactly. Like, uh, Who the hell are you? Yeah. You're in a suit. Yeah, you're just trying to keep your job. <laughs> it's almost fun in network TV because there are just certain things they can't let you do. Oh, yeah, so yeah. that was always fun having those conversations. We had a like a seven year old eat the ashes of a dead man once, and I, I remember <laughs> they're like, guys, it's just like how far is too far. Yeah, you eat like, ash. It just doesn't exist. <laughs> yeah. I did a Fallon and uh, the set has to get approved 800 times, standards and practice. Exha that's an exhausting one. To exhausting. Get it's the squeakiest of the squeaky clean. Yeah. And I had the word piss and that was the punchline, piss. And they're like, piss is out. That's You can't say piss. And I fought tooth and nail and I got it on and it got an applause break and the roots laughed. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to go... Hey Jimmy, huh? How about piss? You know, but well, it's not Jimmy. Know? It's fucking yeah, it's some, true. Some standards and practices, Jimmy. people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jim, by love. Jimmy's a fucking ass. Uh, you're right. It's, it wasn't uh, Jimmy. He but was you hammered. opened for like Seinfeld, right? Yeah, a couple times. Does he want you to be clean? He he's so nice that he goes, just don't be raunchy. Yeah. So you can probably be like, I was getting laid, or I was uh. I stepped in shit, you know, but you can't be like, I jizzed in my daughter's ass or something. Yeah. <laughs> That's one of your best bits, though. That's the problem. Great bit, yeah. yeah. I, don't I get stole it. that from Newhart. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever opened for someone who asked me to be clean. Oh, really? I don't think so. Well, I opened for Galifianakis like 100 years ago, and I was so nervous. And he goes, uh, the manager was like, his manager asked me to be clean. And I was like, oh, that's surprising. Galifianakis is pretty blue. But it's just so you don't go up and just say the N word. That's yeah. what it, it's really. It's a fair request. No, we've yeah. had those guys open on the road where they're just so filthy that you're like, don't go there if you don't have something. Yes. Like, even, yes. even even I'm like, come on, like, we'll make you know, it earn, earn it. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That was one of the best parts about uh, network TV is like knowing that there were certain things you couldn't do and, and pushing the line. Yeah. Whereas on cable, there is no line really, you know? True. So you feel like the pressure to be raunchy, which is the worst. Now let me ask you this: I've never, I've only done writers' room for award shows and roasts, so I've never done a sitcom thing. So this is a, there is a writers' room with a group of writers. Someone in that room is the worst writer, and we all know who it is. Right now, you're picturing yeah. that guy or gal. I, the sad thing is, I'm just thinking is of myself. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. that's well, that's me, right? that's a good. By comedian. the way, in those in that sunny room in the early days, it was 100 percent us. Yeah. Like, oh, that really? Was, that was a Absolutely. heavy hitter room, and like we were just learning how to do it. But we were definitely the lowest man on the totem pole, and and the least funny for sure. You think? Yep. I think we're definitely lowest. the least funny. I think we were better in script, yeah. but like the writers' room is a different muscle. So yes. like you know, we were shy. Uh, they're they're just certain uh, skill set that's not necessary. It's totally separate in script. And okay, room, you there are guys who are throwing up jokes like it's a slam dunk. Oh really? Yeah, like one after the other, and you're just like, that's oh. the you get that one autistic guy in there who's just like joke, <laughs> joke, <laughs> joke. Yeah. Like, Jesus, yeah. right? We but then that guy goes out to uh, like driving home, like ah, should have <laughs> yeah, said that. Jerk store. Yeah. <laughs> what are what are like award show writers rooms like? It's just joke, joke, joke. Like, oh, who's got something on uh, the guy in the Olympics with the big dick? You know, well, let me hear that. And then you go, let's get that from a B to an A wow. or whatever. But there's no storyline. You don't have to worry about the arc or the ending or anything. It's just, mm. what do you got on Ozempic? You got anything on Ozempic? You know, it's it's almost like, a, it feels like a newspaper room. We where would, it's like we would, Yeah, we wouldn't be good at that. Oh, really? We're not big joke guys. Uh, we're, we're big, like, give us a, a strong comedic point of view and let's take it very oh. seriously. But we're not great at, like, the one-liner stuff. Gotcha. I feel like your episodes are so joke-heavy, though. I'm looking at, like, the ones you've written. And it, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, I swear, you work with those guys and they're all, like, classically trained actors so they're very much about like would my character actually say this and even in the bizarro world of sunny like that really does apply to those scripts for sure and that's why like those characters i think you stick with them i think so. it's like there's arcs that are kind of like weirdly sad in that show yeah i think of the christmas episode of sunny <laughs> where they're throwing rocks at the end i'm like this yeah. is like kind of touching yeah. you know? <laughs> it's like there's like kind of beautiful moments but they earn it they don't they don't get sappy like 
I feel like we're in like this sappy era of comedy where they're like they want you to like cry. It's more yes, like dramedy yes. than like the fact that the bear is considered a comedy. Oh, is it really? Oh, it's, yeah. It's nom- for a he's comedy. nominated with it, Larry fucking David. This oh. actor. It, if the awards suggest anything, it is the best comedy. <laughs> like it yeah. sweeps right. every year. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's it just shows you they're not. I was trying. I was trying to find a comedy to watch before bed, like a new comedy. It's hard to find. Yeah. yeah. I ended up watching the Pete Rose doc, which was, which was great. But... On Hulu is our new one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. uh, this this show, Such Brave Girls. That's a wreck. Is so funny. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, it reminds me of like the early sunny years. It's just these two British girls. I think they're sisters, they're sisters. in real life. Yeah. One of them wrote it. They seem to just be making a show that that just for them. Yeah. And it's incredibly funny. Such Brave Girls. You ever see Fleabag? Yeah. yeah. That was a great Yeah, Very, That, that was, was great. You know what British show I'm obsessed with? You ever watch Peep Show? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Peep that's show. like You that's, got me on that. That's one of my favorite shows of all time. I just met a guy from Peep Show the other day. Uh, Tim, I can't remember his last name, but I geeked out on him. That's a Tim what? Show. He was one of the actors on it? Yeah. I wonder, who did he play? Um, man, I haven't seen that in so long. He's kind of like, a, I don't want to sell him down the river. He's a little pudgy guy. That guy. It's uh, all right. Neither of the main, <laughs> those are the main ones. guys. He's, I love yeah. those dudes so much, and I see oh, them in interviews. Yeah. And it makes me only like they're them remaking more. that. What? Yeah, with them or new people? I think the creators are involved. I won't okay. say, but it's uh, an American version of it. Are so we that I'm out of shit? We are, no. dude. But I mean, I Apparently. mean, they, they're so they they don't want anything that hasn't been a proven success before. Yeah, I p. Well, I mean, I am shit talking, but Norman Lear stole All in the Family. That was a British show. Really? And he just took that, yeah. Smart steal. I know. Yeah. <laughs> so he just knew what was good. He's like, that would work here. Oh, you wait till he, the wait you wait till the year he dies to break <laughs> this story. Uh, well, I had to wait. Himself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come at me, Lear. <laughs> yeah. I know Mel Brooks is knocking on death's door. I'm like, man, we're losing all. Yeah. We had it's Carl Reiner's. That gone. one's gonna sting. That one's yeah. gonna hurt. And What's he's your... still dancing and lucid. It's crazy. Yeah. I mean, Carl Reiner. That that yeah. even like Carl Reiner's mm-hmm. so great. Do you know mm-hmm. they got lunch every day? I thought it was they watch movies. Yeah, I thought they had like a movie. It was just lunch, but it could be movies. I heard it was breakfast. (laughs) (laughs) Anyway, I did find that clip I was searching for earlier. If you guys, all right, better be worth it. it. Energy. So I know how to make a mean pot of greens. In fact, people used to ask me to make greens for them for Christmas. One year, I had so many that I had to wash that we ended up washing them in the bathtub. So I am not playing around. You know, back before the war broke out, I was a saucier sitting in I bet I could call up some of them greens. The internet, yeah. the internet is crawl, undefeated. Uh, Patty, that is, the internet deliveries sometimes. Uh, God damn. Poisoning so your soul. What was like that? Or like, do you know the comma? Trump thing about like do not come. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's that was the best amazing. Video on that the pops internet. up and I'm just like, God bless. The I internet. say that's that all amazing. the time. Yeah, ain't so the good. word come, which is all the time, enters a sentence. I yeah. just say do not come. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna come. <laughs> I'm gonna come. The way he says it is perfect. Yeah. Well, from what I can gather from you guys, it seems the the key to a, being a good writer is sunglasses on the shirt. Yep. Sure. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. what I've gathered. Nothing. Yeah. And weed and how, Adderall. How yeah. long have you been writing together? Has it always been together? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Uh, Getting to be twenty years. Yeah. Coming up on that, I think. Wow. That's pretty cool. 20. Yeah. Any fist yeah. fights? Oh, never fist fights. We used yeah. to fist fight a lot when we were younger, but now we just uh, just fist throw emotion. <laughs> just <laughs> uh, so yeah, fighting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's worse now, honestly. A fist fight, you yeah. can get past. And now That's we true. throw like emotional bombs at one another. Your wife's a cut. Uh, <laughs> whatever it is. No, but it, it, we we found our rhythm. I think yeah, it gets better nice. as we get older, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, and you can hold each other to a deadline and all that. Like totally, as That's a comic, a, and we alone. can pick. You know, he can pick up the slack. Right, when I right. have a night or vice versa. I don't here, know here. how anyone does it alone. It's insane to me. It's Nor sad. do I know how any partnership who isn't related to one another makes it last. Yeah, right. It's so it's weird how many brothers there are. It's like the Cohen, you guys, uh, Fairly, then the Wachowski yeah, sisters. There's, yeah, there's I don't so think many. Should be lumped in with that crew. Well, no, no. no. Yeah. Yeah, they're related. You guys have got juice. I I remember when we almost worked on something a while back. Yeah, and, yeah. and uh, 
the guy I was in was like, dude, the churnins, they're the they're where the fuck it's at. I like and I was that. like, I was like, well, I love their shit. So that guy was fired for being a. <laughs> 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 like, I fired him. I, yeah, like, I remember that. Guy, that was a few years ago. It was really funny. It was a good show idea. Yeah. 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 You should make it. Was that yeah. the superhero one? Or? No, it's the same one I'm oh. working on now. I'm still working on it. I feel like that was also a time when it was hard to get that made. Yeah. Or today, I think you'd have a, an easier show. We're working on it. It's not dead yet, so. Well, it's funny. We keep going into rooms and people are like, we're just looking for the next Sunny," and then we'll pitch them something and they're like, well, not that. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, okay. Yeah, what is it? I feel like everyone you pitch, they're like, what do they watch before bed? Sunny, South Park, Office, Office. Office 30 Rock. And then, and then you pitch them anything resembling that and they're like no what the fuck right are you? yeah but but because those shows aren't really about any they're hard to pitch because it's yeah you know, you can't really funny. pitch tone you know good point so, like if you tried to describe seinfeld you just couldn't do it because it's yeah about the, the tone compelling. of their comedy yeah. no even friends it's just like a bunch of hot people living together you want it <laughs> uh, yeah good point <laughs> Yeah, that's true. The pitch, you got to have some, it's this meets this, but it's just, hey, how about a bunch of people you like telling jokes? Yeah. We've also like just having a pitch over Zoom lately. Oh! It's just a special. Why are people still doing that? I don't know. I don't it's know. easier. And it's, writer's rooms were all on Zoom for the past. We that, that, we, we've never been in a Zoom writer's room. Yeah. I don't like uh, that. No. Yeah, we actively were just like we're not. We're, we'll write a movie before we get in a, a Zoom writers room. But it's phone sex. You got to be in the room. <laughs> yeah. It's not the same. Most people are actually pleasuring themselves. Yeah. <laughs> well, Tubin. Tubin. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> Tubin. That guy's he, is he is he back or is he not back? back? I think he's back. Did you see his first day back? They like made they him on him. air like walk through like. So tell us what happened. Like, Jesus, <laughs> really? Are we really gonna do yeah. this to this guy? <laughs> yeah. That'd be funny. He's like, well, I'll tell you all about. It. <laughs> Yeah. Do it again. Yeah. yeah. No, she was just like, so what were you thinking? He's like, I, I'm a fucking idiot. You. Yeah. yeah. See, yeah. women can get away with it because there's less movement. If a lady's diddling while on Zoom, it's <laughs> no, just like this. No, no, no. But no. the guy has to stroke. No, let's pull it. Yeah. He's, a, he, he's talking about great writers. He is a great writer. He's oh, awesome. He? He's brilliant. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And at least he thought he was on a break. You know, it wasn't like yes. during a call. Yeah. I think they were like, let's take five. And he tried to squeeze it's one. It's like, I only need three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got plenty of time. I mean, for it's, a guy, you just go there. I'm talking to my mom on the phone. I got balls dangling, you know. I'm yeah. just, you know, I'm, it's nothing sexual. <laughs> no, just, just prime in the engine. Yeah, the calls, they're though. there. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, you going to say something? <laughs> no, no, no. It's just fucking, it's, it's, in, it's just technology. It's like Anthony Weiner. He just yes. didn't know how to use technology. I mean, he's got other problems, I guess. But well, I the names are like Tubin and Weiner. It's like yeah. both matter. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, good yeah. point. Too self-fulfilling prophecy. Yeah. Right, <laughs> right. You got to meet my, uh, my cousin, Jeff Cocksucker. <laughs> <laughs> You guys got to be pumped about this. I think this could be this, this could, could be, be big. big. I honestly like you generally have some idea of how it's going to be received. I have no idea what. Really, is. but it is yeah. funny. Uh, it's an R-rated comedy. The kind yeah. they don't make anymore. August twenty third, and you got kids. gone by the twenty fifth. No, yeah. no. Yeah. I think kids. I think kids being like dirty and and horny is funny. There's something funny. Of course, it is. It's Relatable. just funnier coming out of a, a, an innocent mouth. It oh, definitely. That didn't sound. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Spacey's the lead. In the next movie. <laughs> I mean, I saw American Pie in the theater in a black neighborhood. I, the the laughs, it was killing. It was not a quiet place. But uh, <laughs> I've said it before. But when they, they would have been dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. When the pie came out and it was all mangled and beaten up, some some black kid went, he tore that shit up, and the popcorn went in the air. I mean, it was amazing. <laughs> That we need I, that again. I think I saw American Pie with my parents for the first we time. We did. Yeah, yeah that was rough. Tough, tough day. Ooh, yeah, what were you yeah. thinking? I was a young. Yeah, wasn't thinking. Just wanted yeah. to go see an R-rated movie. I uh, saw Species with my oh, friend and his species. mom. She sat in between us. Woo! I mean, she could have gone skiing with the boners. <laughs> you know, it was crazy. Uh, I saw He Got Game with my mom. That was a uh, rough one. That's, that's a tough scene. Yeah. Tough, tough scene, but also the fucking, just the amount of tits. Worth. She's just covering my face. I'm like, oh, I'm going to rent it. 
<laughs> you could have rented. I remember watching uh, Under Siege on Laserdisc with my dad. Oh, yeah. He was Laser excited disc. to get a Laserdisc player, and first first showing was Under Siege. Erica Aleniak, The Cake. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know cake. it well. <laughs> so also, did you end up watching Challengers on the plane the other night? I did. And? I liked it. Yeah, did you bon see that movie? No. I think he saw it. Yeah. yeah. I, I thought it was fun. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't Sexy. like it? I didn't love it, but I liked yeah. it. I was into it the whole time. So I didn't I like the thought... ending. Yeah, it was a little I didn't too... like them leaping through the air. Yeah. Uh, Spoiler, mm, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, mm. Also, not as hot as I was led to. Oh, really? Yeah, just not a little gay. But, oh, uh, really? More gay than MMF, hot. MMF. But it's, right? it was fun. It's I mean, nice. I was... I was I'm not for male. I was I'm hanging male on male. it. I was I was into it. It wasn't like perfect, but I was into it. I thought, I thought it was everyone fun. in it was great. Oh my god, the acting's insane in it. Yeah, and the, I thought the score was awesome. Fucking Trent Reznor, man. Yeah. Uh, oh wow. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, look, I was on a flight. I had I was a couple say, in me. Plane movie. You're in a buying mood. Did you cry? Like, if I watch a movie, no, on a plane, no. I'd probably win. Oh yeah, hysteric. No, I was Annie <laughs> Collins. That yeah. one got me. Oh wow. Who? <laughs> <laughs> who? No, who, no, 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 no Annie Collins Tom is. Collins. Uh, who is it? Uh, Pacino, Pacino playing like a, a Tom Jonesy kind of. I've never heard of this. Uh, it's like uh, Dan Fogelman. Yeah, oh, Bobby yeah. Cannavale, who's in our movie. Yeah. This is good. This is one of these plane movies I skip immediately. Oh, this is just phenomenal. Plane. Plane. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How is Bobby Cannavale? How awesome. working with him? I actually remember he showed up, and John was like, "Dave's favorite movie is Danny Collins," and he like thought it was an insult, but I what? really love that yeah. movie. <laughs> I'll check it out. Uh, he was awesome. All right. Yeah, it's the uh, least lucrative job he's ever taken. <laughs> great sport. Yeah. I think he got a lady pregnant 10 minutes ago, Pacino. Oh. Uh, or was that De Niro? Pacino. Somebody got a lady pregnant. Yeah, Pacino's got a, a young... Uh, Mother, our buddy oh, Simon Rex was just he's in a new movie with him, and he, he's been like hanging out that, with Al. I read the wow. script for that. That was he's a great script, really. That's yeah, the, uh, the the guy the who Vince did True Detective. One? Yeah, that's oh wow, amazing. that's a phenomenal script. Yeah, yeah. well, he's our, he's our buddy, and uh, Simon he'll be back on in a couple weeks. Yeah, we, uh, true. he o Simon. always got great stories, and uh, he was telling us just going out. He was just like going out with Pacino. Yeah, uh, it's insane. I think that guy lives in my neighborhood. I used to always see him in the grocery store. Al? Si Simon. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Get him at Pacino, Pacino and Whole Foods. <laughs> 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 Is there gluten in this or no? Oh. Why are you impregnating someone in your 80s? Oh. Slip by. She probably wanted it. You know, it's a good it's a good life for the yeah. kid. Get Keep the Pacino around, estate. I guess. Yeah. I don't know. So wait, before we go, I gotta ask, we got two professional established writers here give us to it give it to us straight on the notes what what sucked about the script i could take it i really like the script i said come I swear on to god i got nothing <laughs> uh, the only negative if you, if you if we were in the room god i wish i had read it more recently because oh, okay. i would have hammered you but I, I really just remember it being like wow that is a funny comedy script which oh, is not thanks. something we see Bad in the past ending. five years <laughs> uh <laughs> stupid didn't I care man I, I, I tell you i we can take it I don't even remember the ending. I <laughs> nice. I remember the, uh, the Should we cut the part where Mark gets double AIDS? Hook up sex scene, that made me laugh. Oh yeah, that was yeah. a good one. Yeah, you got a good, oh, good yeah. sex scene in there. Okay, but if you want, you got you got some ideas. No, I think if you want, we can read it again and hammer you. <laughs> I want to get hammered. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I read it over a month ago, and I've read many scripts since then. But I, I just remember really liking it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. You guys definitely have one of the funnier scripts going around. Whoa! Yeah. Come on. It'll never get made. Yeah. yeah don't get to it. <laughs> yeah, all right. Well, these guys got to get out of here. You got, and you got a flight right we now. We got a flight. We appreciate yeah. you coming in. Thanks. This is, this gonna, is awesome. John's gonna go viral on the. Flight. Flight now, yeah. hell yeah! You guys, gonna, are you guys gonna get lit up on this flight? Or I no? think we have to now. Yeah. <laughs> can't stop. Which going die. home is that's how you do it. Plain yeah. wine, the best, and you'll gain three hours, which yeah. is always fun. That's true. We're gonna time travel. <laughs> Hell yeah. Thanks All right. Well, thanks, us, guys. Thanks, thanks thank you so much for coming. Yeah. Check out the new movie on Netflix. Yes, uh, August. 23rd you Correct. nailed it in the in yeah incoming i can't wait to see it i'm i'm excited for this congratulations your kids and sam do you want to do your dates no we'll do we'll do that stuff later okay cool hey okay august 16 anaheim california that one's almost sold out thousand oaks couple tickets left out in california ia reading pa red bank new jersey guadalajara and then uh new mexico mexico city sorry not new mexico i'm drunk Colorado Springs, Fort Collins, Colorado, St. Louis, Atlanta, Vancouver, Orlando, Florida, Fort Lauderdale, Portland, Oregon, London, Ontario, Toronto. We added a show 
Newport, Rhode Island, Monterey, California, IA, Oakland, California, Winnipeg, to name a few. MarkNormanComedy.com or go to Punch Up Live. What follow, do you got? Follow us both on punchup.live slash Mark Norman, punchup.live slash Sam Morell. I'll be in, uh, when does this come out? The 18th. The 18th. So I'll be in uh, New Brunswick, New Jersey, the August 22nd through 24th at the Stress Factory. I'll be in Niagara Falls, Ontario. That's with Chrissy DeStefano and Nimesh Patel, and I believe Rachel Feinstein opening. Very Whoa, fun show. Fun. And uh, that's September, I believe, what, 11th? September 13th. So, September 13th. All right, I'm fucking dumb. Sorry. Uh, no, what else do we have? London, September 18th. Belfast, Dublin, Paris, Amsterdam, added wow. a show there, Copenhagen, Oslo, Stockholm. And then after that, we got, uh, I'll be back. We added Cleveland in November, adding some workout shows. Going to keep building. I'm going to keep adding dates here and there through the end of the year. And then a uh, big theater tour next year, folks. So stay uh, stay tuned. But uh, we love you. Thanks for listening. Super fun app. Those guys are fucking awesome. Great guys. Check out their work. The Churnin' Bros. They're awesome. And I mean, if you watch Sonny, you know him. Uh, but got a big movie coming out on Netflix. I'm, I'm pumped to see it. So uh, yeah. we'll see you guys uh, very soon. Yeehaw! Sunday's the day for my next bender. A bit of fever you know the beer juice close. I've had a little too much bourbon. And Norman's talking shit about the fucking punk. And I get down in the same way. Up on the roof like the cops coming. And naked Samuel is feeling. I'm out to lunch here in New Orleans This woman doesn't look like I remember